Hey, Brad. Yeah, remember it was a year ago today, it was in the morning, we had some thunderstorms around and then suddenly the tornado sirens started going off and we had a tornado warning here in Smith County in the city of Tyler. It only lasted for two minutes. The rating on that was an EF zero. Remember, it went through Lindsay Park, knocked over some soccer goals over there. Kids were having soccer camp or soccer practice out there at the time. Parks Department employees got them to a safe location. That was on the ground for about a mile and a half and had a path width uh, or wind of about 80 miles an hour as it tracked across the city. And then we had another one later that morning down in Rusk, and this one tracked right across the highway there. It was only on the ground for about a quarter of a mile, and yet a third one between Nacogdoches Street and uh, the highway in uh, Recklaw. That was, again, about an 80-mile-an-hour peak wind, but the path length was less than a tenth of a mile. Now a year later, we're talking about heat, and this is intense heat. Look what happens on Friday. The heat begins to build. And tomorrow's hot, but this weekend is really going to make today and tomorrow and yesterday feel cool by comparison as the heat expands bands across the southern plains and the Gulf Coast states and intensifies Monday, Tuesday, maybe even into Wednesday. I think we've got some 100 degree days ahead for us. Friday close to 100, Saturday probably just about 100 degrees. Sunday, Monday and Tuesday we should be in the low 100s. We should have a heat advisory one of these two or three days there with the Heat index making it up to about 105. Right now, heat advisory southeast of San Angelo, but here we have no watches, warnings, or advisories in effect right now. Little front went through and the winds turned to the north briefly. Now that front's starting to wash out. There are some winds starting to turn back to the south. 91 in Tyler today. 91 at Longview, 91 at Nacogdoches, 80s at Mount Pleasant, Mineola at 87, Gilmer at 88. Look at that cooler air to the north. Tulsa right now at 77. But San Antonio sitting at 100. This purple area here surges back to the north starting tomorrow, especially Friday and then on Saturday. Again, thunderstorms out here in the foothill of the Rockies. They're going to be making their track eastward and southeastward tonight. And so tomorrow, once again, We'll see this little chance for a shower or thunderstorm right up here close to Interstate 30 in the Arklatex. We'll start off tomorrow morning in the mid 70s, stifling still morning. I mean, hardly any wind and the wind tomorrow is out of the southwest at 5 to 10. Just a couple of showers show up here, so just a 20% chance. And then Friday morning, there's also about a 20% chance as those showers just kind of brush by. It's almost like rinse and repeat when it comes to those shower and thunderstorm chances. Look at your highs Friday afternoon, 96 in Tyler to 99 at Mineola. Canton close to 100 degrees and then Saturday very warm to start with sunshine and I think we make it to 100 degrees on Saturday. In fact, hot and breezy Saturday 100 102 on Sunday and that is intense sunshine. We'll likely have a high UV of about 11 with a temperature about 102. So remember to hydrate, stay in the shade as much as possible. That clothing should be lightweight, light colored, loose fitting and pets and children never leave in a vehicle for any length of time. All right, tonight a stuffy still night down to 76 with an east wind. Your Baylor Scott and White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven day forecast looks something like this after we look at the hour by hour forecast for tomorrow. Uh, 86 at 11 a.m. but it's that feels like temperature tomorrow that approaches criteria Levels 104 is what it'll feel like at about uh, at four o'clock. All right, here's the Bill Scott and White Texas Spine Joint Hospital seven day forecast. Partly cloudy, warm and humid. ISO showers tomorrow, 96. Hot, humid with a few ISO showers on Friday, and then 100 on Saturday, 102 on Sunday, 102 Monday. We may have some heat advisories issued for Sunday and Monday. We'll update the forecast tonight at six.